intramuscular injection is the most common way of injecting medicine for a rapid absorption of the medicine because the medicine is inserted directly into the muscle which allows the medicine to gain easy access to the blood stream this video demonstration provides step by step approach to perform intramuscular injection this video cannot be used as a guide to administer injections to actual patients so proper guided training is required before clinical practice before beginning the procedure introduce yourself to the patient confirm the patient's name and date of birth briefly explain what the procedure is and it is important to gain consent to proceed with intramuscular injection check for any contra indications like usage of anticoagulants if the patient is under anticoagulants drugs like warfarin aspirin check if the patient has any allergies bleeding disorders like hemophilia common sites for intramuscular injection the chosen site in the upper limb is deltoid which is a multipinnate muscle and in the lower limb dorsogluteal and ventrogluteal region that is superolateral quadrant the muscle injected is here gluteus medius both in dorsogluteal as well as ventrogluteal the muscle is gluteus medius is used for injecting and vastus lateralis is often used for infants and toddlers where the injection is given on the mid thigh and here is the vastus lateralis on the lateral side of the mid thigh so these are the common choices of common sites position of the patient should be a comfortable way the normal position is sitting posture for deltoid intramuscular injection before proceeding check the rights of administration medication administration to the right person ask the patient to confirm their details and then compare this to the prescription second is right drug check the labeled drug against the prescription and ensure the medication hasn't expired then right dose check the drug dose against the prescription to ensure it is correct and right time confirm the appropriate time to be administered at the medication and check when the patient received a previous dose if relevant then write documentation of prescription and allergies it is important to document the allergies to ensure that the prescription is valid and check the patient isn't allergic to the medication you are going to administer once all the above have been confirmed then prepare medication equipment tray containing non sterile gloves and here is the syringe along with the needle the small syringe has to be used and check for the date of expiry before using it medication which has to be administered we are using sterile water because we are using mannequin cotton swab or gauze can be used alcohol wipe 70% isopropyl alcohol is often used and hand sanitizer so these are the equipments required first step is to sanitize hands properly in a right protocol wear gloves
uncover the syringe fix needle to the syringe draw the medication by removing the needle cap so draw up the medication adequate medication into the syringe replace the needle cap now gently tap the syringe let out the air from the syringe till we see the medicine on the tip of the needle now expose the injection site here we are doing deltoid injection so palpate the acromion process clean the area with alcohol wipe allow the area to be dried completely before injecting around 2.5 cm below the acromion process hold the syringe like a dart and inject at right angles approximately 75 degrees to 90 degrees approximately right angles to the skin aspirate to ensure the needle is not placed in the blood vessel suppose if blood appears remove the syringe and prepare a new injection inject very slowly around 1 ml per 10 seconds after injecting remove the needle immediately and apply gentle pressure at the site avoid rubbing check for any bleeding intramuscular injections for infants and toddlers the often chosen site is the mid thigh the injection is given to vastus lateralis muscle in the mid thigh the procedure is similar as adults hold the needle like a dart and inject at 90 degrees angle it is important to use sharp bins or needle incinerator to dispose the needles never throw needles in a normal dustbin it is important to dispose in a right way up after completing intramuscular injection apply plaster at the site of injection thank you for patient listening hope this video would be helpful for you all in your routine clinical practice